The Prestige 2006, ladies and gentlemen. We got another Patreon requested movie coming in from the homie dude. Tim, this one is supposed to be a drama slash crime film, I believe, slash mystery, maybe, uh, type film. So I'm super excited to check it out, man. Dude, Tim has requested nothing but straight fire these past couple of months when it comes to movies, dude. So I know he's not going to disappoint this time. You guys know I always go into these movies pretty much completely blind. Haven't seen any trailers. The only thing I do know is what kind of genre it is in because that's what I can see when I go to get the movie. So I'm excited for it, man. I've actually kind of been pulled to these drama mystery type movies you know I've, ever since watching knives out dude that that really like got me into that mystery side of movies i feel like like I've, I've always kind of enjoyed it i feel like when i see those kinds of movies but after watching knives out after doing a reaction to it i fucking loved it man so i'm hoping this will be somewhat similar to that obviously knives out was a little bit unique with the way they did it with the plot and storyline but as far as mystery goes you know a crime this type of genre I'm, I'm thinking i'm gonna like this movie man so i'm gonna stop wasting time guys we're gonna go ahead we're gonna hop into this movie before we do i do i said if you guys are on a new channel you do hit that subscribe button comment down below what you guys want to see next man drop a like on the video for your boy full reaction will be up on patreon as well as early access to a bunch of other stuff i'm doing if you guys want to check that out link in the description down below we're gonna go ahead we're gonna hop into this movie Let's see what we got today ladies and gentlemen i also haven't checked out what actors are in this either you guys know I'm still learning actors, so some actors that might be, you know, really common to you guys that everyone knows, I might not know right now. Obviously, you know, still getting into movies and whatnot, but we'll see what we got. We'll see what we got. We'll see if I recognize anyone. Every magic trick consists of three parts or acts. The first part is called the pledge. The magician shows you something ordinary. This is my guy Alfred from Batman? It is! Okay! Okay! My boy Alfred, okay! Oh, why is his eyes looking the like second that? Act is called The Magician Takes the Ordinary Something and makes it do something extraordinary. Ooh. Want to be fooled, but you won't oh, yet. Because making something disappear, you have to bring it back. That's Damn, why man! Every what the fuck? Prestige. He's actually trapped in there, like trapped in there. I thought it was part of his act. I saw someone making their way below stage. I followed them. It was Borden. Watching Mr. Angier drown. How do you think Mr. Borden was able to move the tank under the trap door without anyone noticing? He's a magician. Ask him. I ask again that <laughs> this man. Mr. Cutter, I see your predicament, but Alfred Borden's life hangs in the balance. It's kind of funny their names are switched. He said his name was Alfred Bolden, right? It's kind of funny how their names are switched from the Batman series a little bit. You go dig him up and ask him yourself. I want your secret, Mr. Borden. Consider your daughter. Yeah, that is one thing, you know, that, that hits the heart when you start talking about family, especially somebody's kid, you know. That's definitely motivation for them. You'll have to walk the rest, I'm afraid, sir. Shit, man. This dude does not look like he's dressed warm enough for that. I know he's got to be cold as shit. Jesus, man, electric. <laughs> oh fuck. I'm amazed. How many of you newspaper writers can't read my sign? I simply can't help it. I'll be staying at the hotel indefinitely. Hey, what? What am I holding? Your watch. <laughs> okay, Mr. Angier, man, dude's dedicated. Honestly, like magic shows, bro. Shit's kind of crazy. But I don't like looking up behind the scenes stuff to see how they do it. I like my mind to just be blown. Bro, that shit would kind of hurt, wouldn't it? The fuck? He's complacent. 
He's predictable, he's boring. I mean, Milton has gotten success, whatever that means, and now he's scared. He won't take any risks. The point is that a real magician tries to invent something new that other magicians are going to scratch their heads over, you know? Ford, he said no. Oh, yeah, well, you know not's better than me, do you? Listen, no more mistakes. All right, yeah, do you? You want to take over? Just leave. I didn't think so. Seems like lots of egos are at play here over something small as a knot. You know, lots of egos. Watch your sight lines. If I can see you kissing your wife's leg every night, so can the blokes at the ends of row three and four. Is this the goldfish trick? You're wrong. You can't be. Can't How? Be. Look at the man. This is the trick. This is a performance. Is he faking being? To his art. Not a self-sacrifice. It's the only way to escape all this. You know? Is he faking being like old and fragile? Maybe he's old, but maybe he's not as fragile as he's making out to be. That'd be crazy, man. Some people are that devoted to their art, though, man, to fake something like that. Being fragile and old and weak. Literally any time they're out in public. That's insane to think about, man. That's like devotion and dedication. I thought of a name for you. Oh. The great Dan Tong. <laughs> he killed him. So. That's pretty dope, man. Imagine if he actually, to do that trick, you do have to kill the bird, and they just have two birds, and they use a replacement. Look at him. But where's his brother? <laughs> he's a sharp lad, your son. <laughs> yeah. yeah he's, um, he's my nephew. So there was two. Oh. Damn, that's fucked up, man. They just keep killing the bird each time. Wow. Oh my god. Damn, that's how they do it. The cage flattens. Oh my god. Wow. That's kind of fucked up. Never show anyone. They'll beg you and they'll flatter you for the secret. But as soon as you give it up, you'll be nothing to them. You understand? Nothing. The Good life lesson. Impresses no one. So I'll, I'll see you again. I really like Alfred's character. It's weird calling him Alfred because the same dude who played Alfred in Batman is in this too. <laughs> okay, that's a little bit creepy, yeah? This was built by a wizard. A man who can actually do what magicians pretend to do. This is the tank Andrea drowned in? Yes. This is the uh, place where the performer's hand reaches through. This is the trick lock. It's been switched for a real one. Which of mm. you brave souls is willing Did to she end up dying in it? Woman? If you would tie her wrists, find her. Oh, she probably did, huh? Angle. Oh no. She's not gonna be able to escape it this time, man. Fuck. Oh no, this is what happened. This is what Oh my god, fuck. This is gonna be brutal. Fuck, she's not gonna come out this time, bro. Oh my god. Oh my god, bro. The glass isn't gonna break. Bro, give it to one of the other dudes, not this old man hitting this shit. Oh my god, bro. The knot, Julia. man. He did his knot. Julia. So does that mean that the lock... So could she just not get out of the knot that time? Or was the lock switched as well? Which knot did you tie? I keep asking myself that. And? I'm sorry. I, I, I just don't know. He knows, but he just doesn't want to admit it to himself, man. Fuck. Oh, or maybe not. Maybe he really didn't Good tie news. a different knot. Got our first book in today. And it was uh, somebody switched uh, a lot. But she, her, her hands are still tied, so it has to be right. 
He's a very enterprising soul, is, uh, is Mr. Fallon. So, the... Yeah, we can't afford to pay The him. money will come when we get the order. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> They're not impressed. It's what you came for, is it? Oh. Ah. <laughs> Shit, man. Why do I feel like something's gonna go wrong? Like, fuck. I know he's obviously not gonna die, but like, something's gonna go wrong, right? Oh Are my god, he enough, actually put one down. Sir. Oh my god, he put one in it, bro. Which not did you tie, board? Damn. I don't know. Oh my god. <laughs> oh! God damn! They're all laughing, bro. The other half convinced that I tied the length for double. I can never know for sure. So he really just doesn't know. How can he not know? Has to compliment you on your beautiful theory. Ed. Oh, it'll be a lot more beautiful when it's full, Mr. Archer. <laughs> Don't worry. Oh, you all say that. Thank you, Mr. Merritt. <laughs> Okay. And it's interesting seeing how, you know, you can change it. Like, I was actually kind of shocked when they killed the bird before. Like, I didn't realize they were doing that to do it. Because, like I said, I don't know. I don't know the behind the scenes stuff, but it's cool they found another way to do it without killing him. I've seen a lot of church before, but not this next one. Hopefully, it goes right, man. I feel like something's going to go wrong again. Two volunteers, please, a lady and a gentleman, to hold this cage with me. Never before seen by yourselves or any other audience anywhere in the world. Yeah, everybody th thinks he's going to kill it, man. The cage, one hand on the top. Oh, looks just like him. What the fuck? Oh, my God. Spotted him. You got a lot of plates going. Oh, don't suppose they'll let us do this again? No. So what's the climax of our show? Show? You don't have a show. Mr. Mara, we have a week's engagement. To Jesus. To magic, Lobda. If we can come up with a new trick, change the name of the act, the name stays. The man who's speaking right now is going to change the world. Ladies and gentlemen, come one, come all, immediate seating, no waiting. I'd be kind of creepy being under, man. Does that look safe to you? Part of Thomas Edison's smear campaign against Mr. Tesla's superior alternating current. Oh! I mean, I don't blame him, bro. I'd be scared as fuck, too. Like... Jesus, man. Oh, my God. What's conducting the electricity? Our bodies, Mr. Angiera quite capable of conducting and indeed producing energy. Nothing is impossible, Mr. Angier. What you want is simply expensive. <laughs> if I were to build for you this machine, you would be presenting it merely as illusion? I actually believe the things I did on stage, they wouldn't clap, they'd scream, I mean. Have you considered the cost? <sighs> I'm not sure I follow. Cost Go and home. price, not Forget money. This thing. I can recognize an obsession. No good will come of it. I've already begun to build it, Mr. Antio. I hope you enjoy the mountain air. I like that, man. The price and cost are a bit different. Like, he's not talking about money. He's talking about the cost of what it'll do to you. You know what I mean? Like, you don't think about that sometimes, how it can change you, you know, affect your life, like, in insane ways you would have never thought. Fuck, man. Uh, These dudes are literally just fucking with each other. Who can fuck with who the most, basically? Yeah, the crazy ass trick. It's probably it blew his mind. Now he's obsessed with it. That's what it is, huh? It was the greatest magic trick I've ever seen. The trick was too good. It was too simple. No, he's a wonderful magician. He's a dreadful showman. He's a double. No, 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 no. It's too simple. This is a complex illusion. <gasps> Darling, look at you. Mr. Katsu, Mr. Angie, I'd like you to meet Gerald Root. Mm -hmm. He could be your brother. I don't need him to be my brother. I need him to be me. Give me a month. 
It's not the same when you use a double, though, man. I want to actually do hope they explain how he does it in this movie, because I want to know. Let's see it. Oh. Now, That's pretty good, actually. Would you favor us with a performance, Mr. Rudd? <laughs> <laughs> He's going to do the same. Ladies and gentlemen, much of what you've seen tonight may be termed as illusion. So no trickery is employed. Merely she a didn't open her door all the to way. certain citizens of the Orient. What you're about to see is considered safe. Damn, that actually looked good. That looked actually like really good. I didn't think it was gonna come out that good, but that shit looked nice, man. That shit looked really good. He's not even the one soaking it all in. To our achievement. That, that came out good, though. I gotta give him props. The manager says he's never seen a reaction like it. No one cares about the man who disappears, the man who goes into the box. They care about the one who comes out the other side. I don't understand. Perhaps it would be uh, best if you left us to it. Is there a problem, Mr. Tesla? Yeah, no, 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 no. Come back next week. Uh, no, I'm not performing tonight. But, uh, I'm only doing one show, but to be frank, my people pretty much run things these days. Get up there! Get up! Complete power, you say? This is why he started making demands, man. That's why. Is considered safe. Damn. Jesus, man. It's so funny how they just fuck with each other, man. Oh, the great Danton. him under wraps i was careful yeah well he did do you think it was her dude alfred's good at this shit man i think he's fucked with him more i mean i know alfred ended up in jail but shit it requires further examination so where did my top hat go nowhere we tried the damn thing a dozen times the hat went nowhere you need to maybe. try different material it may yeah maybe a different result maybe you need a living creature but even at that, if this works. You are responsible for whatever happens to this animal, Doctor. If this works, then doesn't that mean like if a human did it, their clothes wouldn't transport with them if the hat doesn't transport? You know what I mean? Does that make sense? Well, I hope that whatever you were really doing with my money was more worthwhile, Mr. Tesla. Something must have worked. I feel like something did work. Oh my god, it was. It was working, bro. Now there's two. But doesn't that mean there's gonna be just copies of him every single time he does this shit? LA! I want the machine! <laughs> so the machine was working. I never bothered to check the calibration because the hand never moved. These things never quite work as you expect them to, Mr. Angio. Five performances a week, no matinees. And that's what you'll be charging for each ticket. Good day. I think this was all a setup, man. I, like, this is all a setup just to get Alfred put in jail and ruin his life more, right? Or maybe he even faked his own death, right? That could be it too. Anyone in the audience who would be irrevocably damaged by seeing a man drown should leave now. Let's begin. Oh. <laughs> what you're about to witness is not magic. It is purely science. I would like to invite you to come up on stage now so that you can examine the machine for yourselves. I think Alfred no noticed the door closing at the last second. 
Man's reach exceeds his imagination. They, they did that on purpose because they knew he would notice it. That, that door closing is just a bait, man. It's just a bait. Damn, man. This is all a setup, bro. Fuck. Let him have his trick. I don't need... I don't need a secret. God, dude. Who was that? That's creepy, man. Back to the start of the movie. Shit. I love when movies do this. You know, we get a piece of it from the... Uh, we get a piece of it from the start. And then it all comes together at the end. That one he... This is the one he actually killed himself on, huh? He actually did try and save him, bro. What did, why did he blame him? He didn't do anything. I get it, man. That's why he didn't want him backstage either. So he couldn't see that he was set it all up. He wanted Alfred to be framed, man. This is his revenge. Alfred Warden. Yeah, I suppose so. This is the machine? Yes. Yeah, well, I'm afraid Lord Cordlow was adamant about purchasing this particular item. Do you think I could talk to Lord Cordlow? I suppose if in the course of your delivery arrangements, your paths were to cross, I can't stop you speaking your mind. Thank you. Good man. No right now, darling. No, but everything is gonna be all right. You must be Lord Cordlow. Cordlow. Yes, I am. I always have. Oh it. my God. Dude, this is so fucked up. All I wanted to do was prove that I was a better magician. You can leave me alone. We both know that. But whatever your secret was, you have to agree. Mine is better. It is now. Don't do this. Don't do this, Ed. I promise. For God's sake. I promise. Look. Dude. Come, Come on. I love you. This is the most fucked up story ever. Holy shit. So many twists and turns. God damn. You think this place can help me? Ain't you? They're gonna bloody hang me? Should have left him to his damn trip. Yep. They were supposed to leave him behind. Sorry for a lot of things. Sorry about Sarah. You go live your life in full now, alright? You live for both of us. This is the most fucked up story ever, literally. Like, the dude basically killed your dad, and now he is your guardian. Like, what the fuck, man? Not the man in the box. Cutter. Alan. Dude, I'm tense. I'm shaking. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, they were twins. We, we the one who went into the box, or the one who came back out. Turns. That's why Tricky's one day we would swap. Simple, maybe, but not easy. It's nothing it, easy. God damn. Life. Don't understand. Oh. Again. She sacrificed Robert. That's the price of a good trick. But you wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Dude, what the fuck? <laughs> I've made sacrifices. No, 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 wait, I'm not. Damn. This is a dark courage. movie. It took courage to climb into that machine every, every night, not knowing if I'd be the man in the box. Only prestige. You didn't see where you are, did you? Look. Dude, this is a tragic fucking movie. Holy hell. So one of the uh, brothers Every magic trick consists did of die three then. Parts. Because making something disappear isn't enough. You have to bring it back. 
Now you're looking for the secret. But you won't find it because, of course, you're not really looking. You don't really want to work it out. You want to be fooled. Jesus, man. Holy fuck, man. Oh, my God. Seems like oh, all these movies directed by uh, Christopher Nolan end up having the same actors in it. You know what I mean? Which I have nothing against, man. I love those actors. But holy shit, man. So they were twin brothers the entire time, essentially. And they were both switching between Mr. Fallon and uh, Alfred, you know, playing that character. It's just like he said about the old uh, about the old guy who did the fishbowl trick, you know, how he was living his act like every day he was acting like he was old and hurt and weak you know he did that and that that makes sense that's why you know at one time uh when sierra, sierra said sometimes when you tell me i love you i can tell you're being a, you're, you mean it and other times i can't it's because they were switched each time so sometimes it would be one brother saying it and sometimes it would be the other and the other brother actually loved olivia and it's like, holy shit, man. Like, I did not expect it to be a twin brother thing. So, one brother actually did die then, right? Got hung. Dude, this is like this. Oh, my God. And each night. Oh, my God. Each night, Robert kept drowning himself over and over again, essentially. And then, obviously, the clone of himself would appear up there. Oh, my God. That's why I kept thinking throughout the movie, like, we were getting, like, flashbacks and flash forwards because... Because of the fact that we seen Robert die at the start, you know, and I had no idea, obviously, that he was being cloned and cloned. So I kept thinking we were seeing flashbacks throughout the movie and stuff, which I mean, holy fuck, man, what a movie, dude. I did like, dude, this is a mind fuck of a movie, like a genuine mind fuck of a movie. But it just goes to show you, man, the cost you have to pay for some stuff like just like Tesla said in the movie, like, are you prepared to pay the cost? And he was like, yeah, I have money and stuff. He's like, no, the actual cost, you know? And he said one day, you know, his obsessions would kill him. And that is what happened with Robert. His obsession killed him, you know? Well, I guess technically Alfred killed him, but <laughs> you guys know what I mean. Being obsessed with something, it, it has its cost, you know? Like getting to fame, getting fortune and all that stuff. People want to be famous. People want to have this crazy, glorious life, but they don't understand the sacrifices you got to make to do that. You know, giving up family, giving up relationships, giving up, you know, sleep, giving up so much stuff to be able to get that life. And then when you're there, it can be great and all, but you you also think about all the stuff you lost along the way. And it's just crazy, man. Like, oh my God, dude, my mind is still fucked by this movie. Like I'm trying to put my thoughts out there for you guys so you guys can understand where i'm at but it's hard like this movie literally like just the ending the last 20 minutes there just completely fucked me like oh my god dude like i oh my god bro what the fuck dude christopher nolan man holy shit he keeps oh my god these fucking movies Dude, I can't like I can't even begin to register this shit in my head like it's still processing dude. Holy fuck. Oh My god, it answers so many questions throughout the movie about like, you know When Olivia told him you're not well, she said oh my god wait Did Sierra know? Because she said she wanted to meet up with Olivia and tell her something was she gonna tell him tell her about the twins Like did she know but she couldn't have known She couldn't have known like, think about that, dude. The sacrifice he, he made, like, literally living a double life nonstop. Like, that's in, like that's some sacrifice right there, bro. Like, holy shit. Oh, my God. It's just hard to process and understand. Oh, my God. And fucking John, Mr. Cutter, he was right the whole time that he was using a double. It's just they didn't realize they kept switching back and forth between Fallon and each other. So they were both getting the stage time and stuff, you know, and both of them were satisfied. Like, holy shit, man. My mind is fucked right now from this movie. God damn. Holy shit, man. Like, I feel like I want to go show this movie to so many people and just see, just to see their reaction. Like, the, the entire movie was good in the story building and stuff, but the, the last 20 to 30 minutes is where it's just like, pop. And it just gets you, man. Like, I just want to show so many people this movie just so I can see the reaction to those last 30 minutes of it. Like, oh my God, bro. 
and it's just a tragic story too man like it really is their obsession really was the death of them and it ruined their lives you know it's the it's the price they paid because they wanted to be known as the greatest magician of all time it's just oh my god dude holy fuck it does <laughs> oh shit Oh my god, dude, I am still blown away by this shit. What a fucking movie, dude. I loved it. I really did. Like, throughout the movie, like I said, I was a little bit confused and stuff because obviously at the start we seen Robert die. So at points in the movie, I thought we were getting flashbacks and I was, it was kind of hard for me to follow at times and stuff. But, and we were getting flashbacks at times. I get that. But like, oh my god, dude. Ew. Oh my god, man. Holy fuck. That's literally all I can say. Like, I'm speechless. This movie essentially has left me speechless. And it's normally movies don't do that to me. Normally, like, it takes me a couple seconds, 30 seconds to a minute or so, gather myself. But right now, I just literally cannot, bro. Like, there's so fucking much going through my head right now. What a fucking movie. What an ending. What a plot twist. Just, I love it, man. I love it. Just the constant up. The constant theme throughout the movie with the whole obsession and the price you have to pay and stuff. And, you know, just like, um, robert told him like uh alfred he knew he was like he, he instantly knew about the the guy who did the bowl the goldfish trick at the start like when he seen him he was like he's he's got to be faking it you know what i mean and robert was like there's no way he lives his life like that every single day he goes out in public he acts like that and alfred knew he was like yeah he does and he knew that because that's what he like oh my god what the fuck dude oh what a fucking movie man shout out to the homie dude tim for requesting this guys let me know what you thought about it in the comment section down below like always also if you guys did enjoy this reaction video make sure to leave a like if you guys are new to the channel hit that subscribe button full reaction will be up on patreon as well as early access to a bunch of other stuff i'm doing if you guys want to check that out link in the description down below i hope you all have a wonderful day and i'll see you in the next one what is going on everybody i hope you did just enjoy that video that you watched if you did make sure to leave a like and drop a suggestion down below for what i should check out next i want to give a couple quick shout outs to the homie dude tim the homie that's so gordo the homie philip boyce and the homie brandon royce for supporting me at my highest tier over on patreon guys link is on screen right now as well as in the description down below i offer a couple extra benefits over there such as early access full length reactions giveaways and a couple of other things if you guys want to check that out it would be much appreciated but i hope you all have a wonderful day and i'll see you in the next one